Hello everybody, welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. Today we're going to be driving the old auto car We pulled it out of the barn. Um, we're going to be taking a load of scrap metal to uh, Pendleton. No auto car, this auto car DC. That's the Cummins M11 600 horsepower with the E18 speed. Because that seems to be the only thing that can shift halfway decent. For some reason. Oh yeah. Um, let's fire her up and get this trip started. Jump right in there. Alright, make sure it's in neutral. Turn the key on. Push the clutch in. Turn it up. There we go. The clutch out slowly. Beautiful. Perfect. Alright, we got 40,000 pounds of scrap metal. We'll see how this old truck's gonna do. Take the brake off first, but it always help. We're gonna go ahead and put the windows down. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, it sounds like they're down the way. It's a big ass blind spot, doesn't it? We're off. Off to save the world. Car DC. Go straight on. lane over here so we might as well just move over now Go straight on. Snyder truck I'll go over Snyder company to work for. At least I think so.
Reminds me of that time when I drove for Snyder. We were just taking a load down into Texas, from Oklahoma City. And uh, the, the town it was going to, there's two of them in Texas. or one up north and one down south. I didn't know that at the time. I thought that there was one down south. But I started heading that away. And when I stopped for the night, I got to looking at the clock on. And they said it was only like over 500 miles. So, well, that can't be right because the one down there to um, Texas is about seven or 800 miles. Or something like that, anyway. So I got to looking on the map, and sure enough, there was another town. Just east of Dallas Fort Worth there. That's the one I was supposed to be going to. They let you go whichever way you want to, Snyder does. You can, don't have to follow the route. trouble for it or anything. Well, I made sure to make sure there weren't no towns named the same thing in one each state from then on. give lots of bonuses out too like if you do 55 mile an hour average um, you'll get a bonus at the end of each month two or three hundred bucks or something like that and if you can keep your fuel usage down your idle time down they'll give you a bonus for doing that I enjoyed it working for them There's a lot better than Swift, I can tell you that much. key on the keyboard to look around. But you gotta stop shifting or stop and take a hand off the steering wheel and that's just a pain in the ass. I guess I could, could probably use the D-pad on the steering wheel for it. I don't have nothing set to those. I might do that. Shifting with the Jake on again.
stay left. Let's put the exit there. No, I'm going the wrong way. You get an ambulance. Get down with your bad self. seen that video on YouTube there, where the cop and the ambulance driver gets into it all because the ambulance that driver didn't yield to the cop and they had somebody real sick in the back too that tried to get them to the hospital but didn't seem to care one bit. He's on his power trip, probably. Sound like a helicopter. Green light, red light, green light, red light, green light. Water horn. Like I said, not an ooga horn. Uh, I'd have a great big uh, ooga horn. guys enjoyed the comment tent. don't forget to like so hit the subscribe button click the little bell thing if you want notifications on new videos check out the American Truck Simulator playlist you can see the link at the end of the video I just missed my exit hold on did I really Oh no, that ain't that big of a deal. I'll move on before you bust, just this once. I want you to screw me. That scared the hell out of me. Fucking bus. <laughs> that ain't a bad truck. An old rusty bottom car. Hill Brothers did the same thing. Turn right. Turn that Jake break off so figure what figure out what life is. Learn how to English again.
rest area. How the hell would you get out of there? There ain't enough room to turn the truck around. I used a little mirror on the hood to see. Go straight on. start go right into one of course it would why would it not says driving the trucks are easy work you're full of shit apparently you ain't never drove not really physical it's mental Do you want think they should add next? I'd like to see some more internationals. I wish there's a good international. Is it I-990 Eagle? First truck I ever drove. Well, on the road anyway. you stopping for? Make me wreck my brand new truck. I'm gonna hit a car like that, this thing would probably just laugh. It'd bounce off of it. Things probably made out of this thing made out of metal, not fiberglass. Exit right. 
Fix it red. Get ready to turn right. You think they're gonna add more states after Texas? I'd hope so. Turn right. Some people say no, they're not going to Texas last one. Some people say, oh yeah, they are going to. I can see the whole United States, but at the rate they're going, by the time they get done with that, it'll be lit. the game would probably be 30 years old. They're not the fastest of the map makers, are they? They sure do get the details and shit right, though. So truck. No gear grinded or nothing. Smooth as butter. Turn left. <laughs> Brakes need a little work. Come on now. Fucking. Hit the button like four times. I don't think I took it out of gear fast far enough. Get ready to turn left. Right here somewhere. Oh, the scrapyard. Makes sense. You have arrived at your destination. Where do you want it at, boss man? Get a little out. Drop and hook, buddy. Drop and hook. Over there somewhere. I think, if I remember right, we can go around this way. Yep. We are. Didn't have to take my head out the window. See how we did. Oh, we're crooked. The front end's good. The back end's crooked. Seventy-five miles, four hours, eight minutes, thirty-six point six gallon fuel, ten thousand three hundred ten dollars. Almost level thirty-eight. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.